His fangs are sharp. He likes your taste. Your party better move post haste. I don't like the sound of that. Sounds like Dracula to me. Come on, snake eyes. Judy, someone's in here. Duh, and why do you two keep ignoring me? It's not real, Peter. It's a hallucination. Peter, your sister's high. That's a f***ing lion. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jared and I'm back here with another ranking video and you know Jumanji the next level is in theaters depending on when you're watching this video making this franchise a trilogy. So what better to do than sit down and rank these three Jumanji movies from worst to best. But before I get into my ranking let me know what your guys' ranking is of these three Jumanji movies if you really love the 1995 version or if you thoroughly enjoyed the next level, let me know what your ranking is in the comments down below. But without further ado, let's get into my ranking. Hitting at number three is going to be Jumanji, the next level. I thoroughly enjoyed this film, but unfortunately it feels like more of the same. You know, we got Welcome to the Jungle and that was something completely different, but the next level, it takes things to the next level. You know, there's more switching of the personalities. There's a lot more humor. The action is ramped up a bit more. But I felt like the plot, the story, um, some of the character shticks drew on a little bit long, and some of the humor was a bit odd. When I talked about it in my review, when someone's talking about someone's penis getting cut off, it's a little bit weird <laughs> when you're talking about all of this other humor that's catered for kids. Um, it's a fun movie, you know, it's video game over the top again, like I mentioned, switching personalities a little bit more in this and some wacky characters but unfortunately it is hitting at number three for myself now hitting at number two is going to be jumanji welcome to the jungle you know we knew what jumanji was from the 1995 version but this almost like aged it up for this new generation you know making it a video game and instead of the world coming to us the world we the avatars jump into the jumanji world and dealing with avatars dealing with the different personas within these bodies that they're not used to and again the video game tropes the video game action the video game just lives and all of the aspects that they built up in this game slash movie were really fun you know it's a switch up it's very very fun but for some reason you know once we get into my top one you'll figure out why but this is this is a fantastic movie you know no one expected it to do as well as it did, but this is a fun movie with all of the ridiculousness in it. Plus, obviously, it's got the theme song, whatever. Welcome to the jungle! We have the games! Ah! And hitting at the top spot is going to be Jumanji, the 1995 version. And more than likely, probably it's hitting at the top spot because of nostalgia. I grew up with this movie. I rented it from the library so many different times, and I remember watching it. There's so many great aspects to it, you know, the, the him getting sucked into the game, the game coming back out, them having to pick up the game years later, you know, the practical effects and the grand scale of that uh, rainforest and tsunami in the living room is crazy and then them going off into essentially you know the actual world with the monkey stealing the cars and the plants taking over um it's a very very fun movie but then we get into the acting talent robin williams is phenomenal in this movie and we get a young Kristen dunst as well but then the kid turns into a monkey i mean it's just really really fun movie and over the top crazy awesome um it also dives a little bit into kind of messaging and whatnot not because uh, at the beginning, Alan Parrish and his father, you know, they're having an argument. They're not seeing eye to eye. And then later on, it's Alan Parrish against this hunter poacher type character. And it's played by the same character. So it's kind of like this meta message of him having to face his father at the end of the movie that is thoroughly kind of going through the movie as well it's the through line and i didn't pick that up until years and years later but yes jumanji the 1995 version is my favorite out of these three hitting at that top spot so that is my ranking of the jumanji movies from worst to best what did you guys think of my ranking was it the same as yours a little bit different are you not really on board for that 90s nostalgia let me know in the comments down below i'd be curious what your ranking is of these three movies and if you thoroughly enjoyed the next level 
cool. Anyways, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Watch some more videos up there, you know, movie reviews, trailer reactions, fun comedy skits. I think this weekend I have Black Christmas Explained Poorly and maybe another top ten of the decade. Either way, Star Wars all next week. Stay tuned for that. Follow all of my social media. Click that subscribe button. It seriously helps me out. And until next time, I'll see you later.